forgive me. I, di I just, I didn't realize. I obviously looked at the price and I thought there's no way. Okay, folks, I, I was excited. Now I'm jumping up and down in my chair. We are gonna present right now, right now, our showstopper. So many of you are ordering it because Carol is wearing it in the beautiful pink agate. Folks, I'm gonna take you through the three choices. It's 159, you get ETH, sorry. You get Ethiopian opal with the most extraordinary tassel necklace. Okay, we're about to call this one gone because Carol's been wearing it and giving it so much love. I have 280 of these to go around. $159. This is a uh, 33 inch in length. This is a beautiful, genuine tassel. Uh, the gorgeous movement, very flirty. That's a real deal Ethiopian opal, but we're not done there. That's a gorgeous selection. But then again, so is this next one. This is gonna be your black spin. Oh, look at this black spinel. Look at how this just dances in the light. Okay, and I like the way the black spinel juxtaposition against that Ethiopian opal. It makes that, that is. Ethiopian oh, opal dance. That's a million dollars. Carol, I don't claim to know a lot. Besides your today's special, this will be the best selling item in the show. Yes, I do I'm telling I you now. do believe that you're correct. First of all, this is That's a... That's the Labradorite, last thing, sorry, Labradorite. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. sorry. There's three choices, forgive me, the Labradorite. I mean, what's going on with that opal? I, it's, oh, it's crazy. Look at this, look at this. I know, it's crazy. So, the drop on this, while the necklace is 33 inches, this drop is four and a quarter inches from the top, here we go, to the bottom. Okay. That's a major drop. And, you know, when I was putting this necklace on, I'm going to tell you something, from a styling perspective... When I was putting this on, I was because I'm wearing an off-the-shoulder um, top, which so many of us are wearing this summer, we're kind of loving this new trend, I have to tell you, I had a choice. I could have either worn it long, but I was really loving the idea that that long drop would look so 1920s, which is what this necklace is all about, but yet so modern. So I tied the back of it, just so you know, in a bow. I tied the, um, the whole back of the necklace in a bow so that I could wear this and put this center medallion in the um, crook of my neck, because I think that's kind of sexy, I won't lie, on <laughs> all of us. And then you just have that beautiful tassel hanging down. So, I'm gonna start off by telling you that this is the stiletto of necklaces. What am I talking about? Let's see, can we look at Victoria so I can explain what I'm talking about? There we go. Oh my gosh. Now, when I say the stiletto, I want you to think of the stiletto heel. Think of how sexy we look when we wear that high heel. Oh my God, I have to wear them all the time because I want my legs to look longer. Now, this completely elongates the body. It falls at such a beautiful place and it creates so much drama. So this is an heirloom tassel necklace. It was created from the original heirloom tassel necklaces from the 1920s. You see that beautiful starburst design and in that starburst design you're looking at a four um, i'm sorry an eight millimeter round gorgeous opal that completely plays back to our today's special so here are some of your choices you are looking at that amazing there's our today's special with the 12 by 10 ethiopian opal and our amazing heirloom tassel necklace has an eight millimeter gorgeous same exact ethiopian rare rainbow opal. If you're wondering why the Labradorite, the pink agate, and the black spinel are shimmering in the way that they are, so these gemstones normally have shiller, but they don't have sparkle. We use a proprietary diamond-coated mystic, a mystic coating, and this goes on and it makes these gemstones sparkle like diamonds. You wouldn't normally see that if you were looking at black spinel labradorite or pink agate. So now you have what looks like the best, most fun pink diamonds and black diamonds, and then that gorgeous gray, beautiful, because diamonds when they come out of the earth um, are gray. So you're looking at this design, you're seeing all this amazing sparkle. It's so vintage. And then you're saying to yourself, how can this possibly be? Tassels are by far the most important trend, iconically in jewelry and today. So I just came back from um, the Vegas jewelry shows. I tried on a $90,000 tassel necklace. Do we have a picture of me wearing that tassel necklace, Allison? We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it, Carol. Okay, I'm wearing, I'm wearing all black. 
So I'm trying on this $90,000 necklace. Wow. Here I am. And literally, I'm like, oh, my God, under my breath. I'm like, I cannot believe it. My tassel necklace is $159. And here I am wearing something so incredibly similar. You can see my face. I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> wait till I show this on TV. No one's going to believe it. So you've got the biggest, biggest trend. You know, when we talk about customer picks, so we've had the gray cashmere Labradorite. We've had the black spinel. The pink is my brand new color. I want to tell you how many five-star reviews we have on this. How many, Carol? 57 <gasps> perfect five-star reviews. No Only surprise. Andrew Lessman gets that many. <laughs> I mean, how many people in fine jewelry can say that? Okay, this is what they're telling me. It, it is absolutely a runaway smash success. Uh, I would be, I'd be shocked if it wasn't. It's 159.90 for a tassel necklace. So the style, the look, the feel—it's all genuine. It's all real. Um, with the Ethiopian opal right there in the heart of this, this is one to own. I mean, we still have lots of wonderful things to come, but I will tell you this: even if you're going to bed right now, and this was the last thing you saw, and this was the last thing you purchased from Carol this evening, you are walking away with one of the finest, finest items in Carol's entire assortment. It is beautiful. Let me take you through the three colors. How many left in the pink now, Alison? Oh, okay. So the, the pink is nearly gone. If you're online ordering, please ask for the pink agate. Um, I will remove it as soon as they officially tell me it's sold out. There are just a couple left. Obviously, the other two choices, which are also spectacular and oh so wearable, the black spinel, I am very partial to. I think that black spinel is just, I mean, just look at it. You're going out on a nighttime with your husband, with the girls, and you, you wear black, you love black. Maybe you're wearing white and you want the contrast. The black spinel, I mean, there are hundreds of black spinels there. They shimmer and sparkle like you've never seen in a million years. And this like looks like something just out of this world. I mean, it looks heavenly. It's it looks divine. It's state Starburst vintage design. Can I show you how crazy this black yes, is? May I borrow this of from you? Of course, it's yours, Carol. Okay, thanks. All right, girls, I want to show you what happens. So you see me wearing the pink, and it's beautiful, and we love it, and it looks so springy mm -hmm. and summery and special. Okay, now, can I just show you what's about to happen? This is my favorite trick. I like to stand up. Okay. So I'm going to stand up. Hopefully my mic isn't going to fall off. Hopefully that camera can follow me. There we go. Take a look at what happens. I want you to see the drama, the way that this elongates. I would love for you to take a look at the black spinel and how incredibly wow. sparkling it is. You know, when you think of black, you think of that moment where you put on your little black dress or you think of that black high stiletto heel mm. or maybe it's that black leather pan or like I'm wearing it's that black spandex that stretches out when my tushy <laughs> stretches whatever it is black is always so appropriate black there we go are you wearing gray or black let's see Victoria okay Victoria's wearing the black so now against that lavender look what's happening to the Ethiopian Waylo gorgeous opal it is turning purple and green and blue it is just gorgeous. And the black antique rhodium. So the, all of the sterling silver in this necklace is completely plated in black rhodium, which is giving it the true vintage appeal mm. of this piece. Boy, what a winner. What an absolute winner. The Labradorite, I do want you to know, is that stunning, universal, beautiful gray, that silvery platinum gray that just seems to work again with absolutely everything. Like gray diamonds. That's what diamonds look like when they come out of the earth. They come out a silver, it's called silver mist. And they come out of mines out of Australia. So silver mist, you can see this gray Labradorite is exactly the color of silver mist. And there are these mystical, really cool diamonds. And after they get away like the darker ones and after they put away the really clean, clean white ones, the silver mist is the most modern, fun way to wear diamonds. And this Labradorite is done in that mystic diamond coating. So you're getting the exact look, the exact look of those diamonds. I just, I, I don't know how this is $159. I'm amazed. I mean, we've spent a lot of the night talking about the opal. Uh, we could talk about the pink agate and the Labradorite and the black spinel. But please, I mean, look in the center right there. 
Look at this beautiful opal. This is a... Eight millimeter. That, eight th that's millimeter. not nothing, Carol. No, and you know, it's about that color play and the patterning. So I didn't, um, if I didn't talk enough about opal today, and I'm so in love with it, I'm gonna share with you what makes an opal valuable. So what makes an opal valuable, and these are all white rainbow Ethiopian opals. What makes them value first is the color play. So when you look at the opal, we can look at Victoria, we mm. can go really tight on that opal and take a look at that color play. This is a white opal. It looks green, it looks purple. It's got neon flashes of iridescent pink. And then it's about the patterning. And what we mean by the patterning is when the opal is moved and you can see the way everything is iridescent and flashing together, it's because of the opal's natural patterning. The reason why today is so special and the opals I'm bringing you today is because of that amazing color